Hi there everybody, Bill here from Tiny House Prepper and I'm really excited because I'm almost finished the shed. The only thing I have left to do is the interior paint on the walls and the shelving. So let's get started. Tiny House Prepper Now I've got all the trim work cut in, so now I can start on the rollers. Um, Elizabeth doesn't doesn't understand how I can paint the way I do because I can paint an entire room, I can paint an entire house, and you see I don't have any paint on me. I just it's supposed to go on the walls, so that's where I put it. There's uh, I, I just don't get it on me at all. You know, she'll walk into a room if there's an empty paint care can. Anywhere in the room, within five minutes, it'll be all over her. <laughs> and she'll probably not be too happy when she hears me just say this on the video. But it's the truth, and we laugh about it. But yeah, I just don't get any paint on me. Anyway, time to start on the uh, on the rollers. Oh, I didn't put any molding in the corner because I'm going to be putting two by fours against the wall up into the corner to support the shelf. And once those shelves are all in, then I'll be putting quarter round molding in the corners in between the shelves to, to fill in that gap. So the paint is finished, it's still a pain working around a piece of plywood and a couple things I have to keep moving, but it's all done with the paint, I'm very happy with that. That right there is an access panel to the attic just in case I should ever have to get up there. I'm not expecting to, but there's access if I need it. So the next step is to start building the interior um, shelves and I can actually start moving in. I'm excited. The color on the video here might look white, I don't know, but it's actually a light gray. I really like it. It brightens it up so much in here from what it was but it's not stark white. It's 45 degrees out there. We've had this steady soaking rain for about a day and a half. It's May 13th. This kind of cold weather is unusual this late in the season. And I'm out here on Saturday working on the shed and it's so nice in this cold weather to be able to turn the heat up. 
so I'm not working in the cold, damp. So now that the painting is done, the next thing to do is to start on the shelving that's going to go in this corner that's going to double as the bunk beds.
is Elizabeth, and I'm now out in the shed, and things are really coming along. Um, over on this side over here, um, we are going to be putting in a series of shelves that are going to be kind of smaller, that are definitely planned for smaller boxes and that kind of storage. Um, and then over here, um, Bill's gotten quite a bit done. Um, this is going to be for large things that need more height. And so we've got some big shelves here and the shelves up on top there. And that's going to hold some of the larger objects. And um, so, yeah, I think it's coming along really well. Now we've actually made these sort of a double purpose part of our shed. Because on the occasions when we may have someone that's coming to stay with us and we'd like to give them some place to, to be able to stay, um, these can now become bunk beds. So we're going to be storing these two um, mattresses and they can be put on here. Um, Bill is going to build a little ladder that will come right here. And so during times when we might, you know, be very glad to be able to have someone have a place to stay, um, these will be bunks. And then we can just take the mattresses back off, put them away, and put our boxes right back. Um, in order to do this, of course, we'll be um, just taking the boxes and the, the things that are on here and moving them over to another part of the shed um, and turning these into bunk beds. So Bill has built this so that we'll have some things in place if we need to use these as bunks. Um, there's a plug here, and we'll have some kind of a little shelf or nightstand here to be able to put a lamp, which we have. We have a rug that we can put down on the floor here, um, just to give some nice place to step onto. And um, if we need to, there is a spot where we can install um, already to go a small air conditioner. So um, I think that this is going to be set up very nicely. The thermostat's right there. And um, so I, I think that, that we can make this pretty comfortable. All right, well, this will conclude this update of our shed build. And um, I'm excited. I think things are coming together really nicely. Thank you for working so hard yeah. for so long. For so long. Yeah. For the year that I've been working on this thing, yeah. it's almost done. Whew. Yep. <laughs> Yep. So we're trying to keep you caught up, and um, we're excited. I think this is going to work out really well. Yeah, and we'll, we expect that we'll probably do just one more after I finally finish all the shelves and get all of our stuff yeah. in there. So we'll, we'll see. So. <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks for coming along on our journey. And, you know, as always, don't forget to like the video and, and to subscribe if you haven't already done that. And you have a blessed day, and yeah. we'll see you next time. Yep. We're having a, it's a beautiful day here. And, um enjoying it love spring all right love you guys all right. okay bye-bye goodbye